Good morning, Year 10. I would like you to pause the video shortly and to copy out the rows that you see. I'd like you to add class width and frequency density to these rows. You'll need to pause now to do that. Okay, <clears throat> I want you to write down class width equals upper bound minus lower bound. So what we're doing here, we're taking the upper bound of t and the lower bound of t and subtracting them to get the numbers in the table. And that's it. 12 minus 10 is 2. 15 minus 12 is 3, and so on. Now, frequency density is our frequency number divided by that class width. So 5 divided by 2 is 2.5, and so on. And we just do that. We go across the table doing that. So that's the first step. You need to know two equations. You need to know that you need to add two more rows to your table. And you need to fill out that table, starting with class width first, and then frequency density after that. Once you've got that written out, we're ready to move on. So a histogram is like a bar chart with extra stuff going on in it. First thing we need to know what to do is to label our axes. The thing that forms the groups, temperature, must be along the x-axis. So temperature is along the x-axis. We're now going to break our temperature up by looking at the numbers at the start of the first group and the end of the last group. We need to fit 24 in. So that's what's happening now. We're just um, scaling our axis. That should take me up to 24. Oh, not 15. Let me go change that. And the thing that goes up the side is always frequency density. That's always what frequency density is. So what we are going to do is put the scale going up the side so that we can fit 6.5 on our graph. Now, each column, each group that we have of temperature, we're going to have a bar that goes with that column. To begin with, we're looking at where our bar is going to start and going to finish. So 8 and 10. We can start drawing little walls almost going up either side of our little skyscraper. And we're going to go up to the number 2.5 and stop. And this is all we have to do. We start our next block at 10 and going up to 12. The lines come straight up out and go up to 6.5 on our frequency density scale. And that's it. We're going to continue on like this. Feel free to pause the video and start yours, and then play the video and see if what you're doing is correct. As we reach the end, we notice that the frequency densities are the heights and the um, classes themselves of temperature, they are the widths. Now, what this means is that the area is the frequency. Okay, so I want you to write that down. Area is frequency. We're going to be using it with the next video. But to start with, I'd like you to draw some histograms. You should only need the squares in your books, but you will need to think about the scales. Um, I might even put pictures of the scales on uh, so that you can just copy those. Um, so that's what I want you to do. It should be just below this in OneNote. 